Hello everybody, Benjamin Magnus here, and it is time for our September of 2017 channel update. So first thing right off the, the bat, I'm gonna be talking about Hurricane Irma because as many of you know, maybe some of you don't, I live in Central Florida and Hurricane Irma is, today is Friday, so is a mere like two days away. For me at least. So the hurricane is scheduled to hit Sunday night going into Monday morning. Now that means uh, my streams for this weekend should be fine. I'm going to be streaming Saturday at noon. I'm um, not sure what. I might do Rise of Industry. Might just do some like World of Tanks, World of Warships with Roachers, which is what I've been doing. Might do a little Ultimate General Civil War. Not sure. I kind of just, on, on Saturdays, I kind of just uh, decide on the fly what I feel like playing that day. And then... Uh, I'm gonna be streaming Sunday, Supreme Rule, Supreme, that's the word, Ruler Ultimate, uh, with Bob, Mordred, and Roach, uh, that that should be fine for, for Sunday, and then, uh, Sunday going into Monday is when the hurricane is supposed to kind of go over me, so chances are I'm gonna be losing power, uh, last hurricane we got that hit the area just kind of winged us, and I lost power for like 18 hours, it was no big deal, uh, this one is supposed to be pretty bad, so I have no idea how long I'm going to be without power for. I'm going to try to keep in touch with everybody uh, through Discord via my phone. Um, I mean, I have my, my phone's going to be fully charged, and me and my wife have spare batteries. You, you know, the you know, plug-in batteries the, uh, for, for the phone. So I should be able to keep in touch with, with everybody and let you know what's going on for as long as I lose power. I'm not concerned about, you know, my safety or my house or, you know, my wife and my pets. Um, we live, you know, 80, 90 miles inland. We're not going to be getting the worst of the hurricane. We are supposed to get about a foot of water, but I live on a third story apartment, so not that big of a deal for us. The biggest thing is gonna be, we're gonna be without power for an unknown amount of time. But like I said, we'll be physically safe. Uh, we have supplies. Uh, we have water, we have uh, food, candles, medicine, all that stuff. So we'll be okay, we're just going to be without power for a little while. But like I said, I'll keep you guys up to date on Discord. As it, as it relates to content for the channel, uh, I have uh, the EU4 is about to end. It only goes up to episode 66. And then after that, Supreme Ruler Ultimate goes up on the channel. So that's uploaded through almost the end of September. We're way ahead on that. I've got... Hearts of Iron 4 uploaded to about the third week in September. Uh, I've got, um, I just ended Caesar 4. It was only seven missions long, so that's all I got out of that. But I have ultimate, I have a couple of videos of Ultimate General Civil War that's uploading um, in the mornings as well. That's gonna, because a lot of those battles stretch into hour to two hour long engagements. Uh, and I'm doing them all in one, I'm not splitting them up, I'm doing them all in one go. So th I'm gonna have a couple episodes of that. Um, up is ready good for probably at least a week so there's going to be at least two and a half to three and a half series on the channel uh going for at least a week or so the only thing that's definitely going to fall off is rome total war um that i, I ran out of backlogged videos for that and i don't have enough time to record uh edit render that in addition to the other stuff so uh that one's going on hiatus for a little while then when power comes back i'll bring that up and finish off the series now in regards to current and future content on the channel, I've been making a list of games I want to play. And I haven't, this list has been growing for a while and I just never got around to a lot of these stuffs, but now I'm making a concerted effort to finally get around to them. And that means uh, cutting out other things from my channel, namely Hearts of Iron 4, because God damn it, I hate that game. Uh, but anyway, I've, I've, I've got a physical list here brewing. Uh, first game on the list was finishing off Caesar 4, which I did. Civ City Rome, Children of the Nile, Grand Ages Rome, a no. Uh, I got 1404 specifically listed, but I want to try some of the older ones as well. Tropico, probably number three or number four. Uh, Stronghold series, Dwarf Fortress, uh, Aurora 4X, Gary Grisby's War in the East, which I've been talking about a lot. Um, some, uh, maybe another run of Hearts of Iron 3 with Black Ice. It's gotten updated again. And I want to do more Hearts of Iron 2 on the channel as well because I've been trying to get back into that game and it's it's really fun. So that's stuff you might be able to see going into the future. Um, I, I think it's for the best. Hearts of Iron 4 uh, is clearly never going to turn into the game that I am interested in. So going into the future, I'll probably run maybe, you know, when, when mo major mods get major updates or DLCs come out from the game, I'll run a series. But other than that, 
Probably not going to be just running it for the sake of running it. Now, I mentioned I'm um, streaming on the weekends now, on Saturdays and Sundays, and uh, that is related to the ever-changing, uh, like, algorithms and, and, and growth of YouTube. Uh, I've been getting demonetized pretty heavily on a lot of my content, which, uh, between the adpocalypse and the demonetizations, um, is co is cost me about a third of my ad uh, my ad revenue from from YouTube, which is a pretty big hit to take. I mean, I'm I, I, I'm I'm okay enough to not have to go out and get another job, but that's mostly thanks to Patreon. Uh, thank you all Patreons who are watching this or future Patreons who are thinking about donating. By the way, um, Patreon is a great way to support channels these days, not just mine but any channel you like. Uh, just dropping like a dollar on on on. A, a, a content creator's page is worth more than any views that you could, you know, you know, accrue in a month for them. Just because ad revenues are down, demonetizations are hitting lots of people. A lot of people have had their entire channels demonetized, no matter what the content is. I have issues where uh, I'm getting demonet multiple videos are getting demonetized multiple times. And uh, for those of you who don't know how it works, you make most of your your money from a video in like the first day or two. There's this huge spike, and then it drops down. It, like, like you get you know, X amount of money, and then you get X minus 90% after that, you know, for the days. And when you get demonetized the second a video hits, you lose the majority of the money you're going to make from, from that video. And then what I've been happening is, so a video comes out, it gets demonetized, and I don't make any money. It gets remonetized, so I'm making a little bit, and then it gets demonetized again, and then just repeat the process. And YouTube is supposed to tell you when they demonetize a video, but for me at least, they don't do that. They, they did, and then they stopped doing it. They stopped sending me emails, and there's no way to search my page anymore because the, the search functions are broken, for which videos are demonetized. So the only way to look is to just start cycling through videos. And I have over 3,000 videos posted on my channel and they do demonetize old content as an addition to new content. So there's not really any way for me to just look through thousands and thousands and thousands of videos manually and find all the old ones that have gotten hit. So it's just like, I just gotta take that hit. We just hit my next Patreon goal, uh, which was pretty awesome, which was starting up community Dungeons & Dragons games for people who donated at a specific level. Uh, we've been doing that for a few weeks now, and it has been a lot of fun. We got some, some experienced players, some new players, uh, and it's been just a really good time, you know, getting to know, know people, teaching some new people who've never gotten a chance to play about the game. So if that's something you're interested in, it's probably something I'm going to be doing uh, for the indefinite future. Uh, I do plan on restarting the community event games that I did on that I used to do on the weekends pretty soon. Uh, I lost interest in that when Paradox started releasing really shitty DLCs that were really broken. But considering the fact that that's going to keep happening and there's no change in sight for it, we're just going to restart them and we'll just have to either make some custom rule sets or or disable some of the the worse some of the, some of the less interesting, less balanced DLCs, but that is something we're going to be restarting in the near future. Uh, but we're in regards to that, they are going to be Patreon only going into the future because in the past there have been uh, like people who have come in just to you know cause trouble, just to cause issues, just to you know like like flip the table and 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 upset the game. And I don't want that anymore. And the best way to do that is to make them uh, Patreon only. So. That's just the way it has to be, and I do apologize for that. I know some people will, will will say he's a shill. He'll only play with people who who pay him, and uh, it's it's really just a way to filter out the people who have just come to disrupt the game rather than the people who came to actually enjoy the game with the community. So that's about it, folks. Pretty mundane channel update. Uh, the biggest thing is just the hurricane that is you know looming over Florida and is going to smash into the coastline pretty soon. Like I said. I should be fine. We talked about uh, current and future series and what the hurricane is going to do for those. We talked about Patreon and we talked about Twitch. I do highly, highly encourage people to uh, go follow on Twitch. The link will be provided below so it's nice and easy because a lot of my future comment, uh, content is going to be coming out of Twitch. And what I like about Twitch is a lot of games are a little bit more fun when you can interact with people on the fly. Like when I make a mistake, in a video and I'm bulk recording, it's like, and then I make 10 more videos. It's, it's two weeks of people getting pissed off because I didn't respond to their comment. But if I make a mistake on a stream and someone points it out, I can just be like, you know, 10 seconds later, like, oh, okay, fixed it, which is kind of fun. 
But anyway, I digress. Short channel update this uh, this month, uh, and I will see all of you next time.